Today I'm going to commentate on Coolio the Hedgehog. His videos. Stop trolling me! Explanation point. Explanation point. Well, there's like a ton of them. Trust me. Now I'm going to make a long intro about this kid so you guys can understand. Or if you know, you can just skip this. Hey guys. So here's the thing on this kid. I'm gonna give out six reasons. One, he's too young. He's way hey, too young for YouTube. Even though I'm kind of young, also, I'm not five or six. I don't want to give out my age, but I'm pretty mature. He always makes these rants or so-called rants, and he doesn't make any valid points. He just complains about people, and they're mainly on people. Second, he can't spell. This ain't that big of a deal, but I just want to state out he can't spell that well. He spells video V I D I O. It's V I D E O. Just saying. Third, he makes free colors and calls them original. If you go to his channel, he has a background of Green Sonic with a heart somewhere. I don't know. And then he's like, It's mine. I made this. Or my bro made this. He says his brother made it. Yeah, probably did. Fourth, he says he's from Japan. Now, obviously, he's not from Japan because pretty obvious. Five. Okay, this one's kind of a little long one. You know the recommendations box that us regular users got to use now? In his, he has three people. The title of it says, Coolio's friends and family. One is Fred the Hedgehog, probably a friend. Now, these next two are kind of be bizarre. It's Fred and his Fred's second channel, Lucas. Now, I highly doubt Lucas, which is the creator of Fred, even knows this kid exists. So, it wouldn't make them a friend or a family. And six, he subscribed to his own trolls. He's always complaining about this kid named Cloud, who's trolling him. And why is he subscribed to him? That's the whole thing. Why do you subscribe to your trolls? I used to troll this kid. Yes, I admit it. I was trolling somebody. But he never subscribed to me. Okay, I have two theories to this. One, Cloud and Coolio used to be friends, but then Cloud started trolling Coolio, but Coolio forgot to get him out of his subscriptions box. Or two, he wants to make sure he subscribed to Cloud so he can see if Cloud makes videos about him. So he can make a crappy rant going like, eh, Cloud just, just trolling me and he made a really mean video of bad words and my mommy grounded me. So, yeah. Oh, let's get on with this commentary already. Jeez. Hey guys, it's Coolio the Hedgehog. Sorry if you can't hear that well, it's just because this video has pretty bad quality. You know, these trolls, I just can't. You know, I thought that. I thought that if I came back, you got you trolls were gonna stop. So first of all, you keep telling the trolls, guys. If I, I thought if I left, you guys would stop trolling me. And two, you keep like taking long pauses and pretty much repeating the words you just said. And just forget about me. But you didn't, and you still keep trolling me. Of course you're not gonna stop bothering you. They're trolls. That's what they do. Why? So they can see you make this video. If you're just pausing to make this video look dramatic, it's not working. It's just not fair. I never did anything. You know what you did? You came to YouTube at a young age and you made crappy videos. That's what you did. And I've already gotten a lot of messages from this one guy called, um... He's called, um... Um... Uh, I can't remember what I'm gonna say. It's called a script! Huh. I forgot his username, but he kept sending me messages saying, you're a bad word, and then... Uh, 
I understand he doesn't want to swear because he'll probably get in trouble by his mom, but he could have gone like this. Um, he called me the F word and stuff like that. So, yeah. She said, I'm going to hack you. I'm going to hack you. And he kept sending me to my inbox. And it wasn't cloud. I know it wasn't cloud. And it wasn't um, that other guy who hacked me before cloud. It was someone else. He trolls. You're just making me rip my hair out. If he's getting you that mad, you should just sit down and play a video game or just go lay down. That's what I do when I'm stressed. I'm serious. You trolls. You just leave me alone. There's no such a thing as a troll that will leave you alone. I make, I make beautiful pictures for you. You call that beautiful art? Have you seen the Mona Lisa? Stuff like that? That's not beautiful. If you actually see the entire video, he kind of zooms out and shows you what it is. I can't tell. It's like a cat or some sort of Sonic character. Honestly, that's not beautiful. It's a kindergarten drawing. You see this? It took me three hours to make this. <laughs> it took you three hours to make that? Though something that mediocre would take me about three minutes. And when I was done, I wrote to see if the trolls can you say sorry, we shouldn't have trolled you. The only way, the only way to get trolls to leave you alone is do this. Just simply leave YouTube. If you can't take the trolling, you gotta go. Or else you t get more. But no! You make bad wounds, and my mom wants to ground you for it now. <laughs> I don't want to be growing. Sorry if you can't hear it, but he's actually crying. I don't have the best capturing software. But, um, yeah. So, let's just say this. Why are you crying in your video? You're like that gir Webkin's girl who cried in her video while she was strangling a plush dragon toy. <laughs> you told me to get me grounded. For no reason! I didn't do anything, and it's only four, I'm gonna get grounded. Okay, your mom's gonna ground you because of something she heard on the internet. Well, of course you're gonna hear swearing on the internet. She should have known that! Jeez! She's gonna ground you because of s some swearing? And she's the one who let you on! Stupid trolls! Mommy, some guy on the internet's being mean to me! I make beautiful pictures for you. Yet again, that's not beautiful. It's mediocre. This picture took me three hours to make. You said that. And I kept messing up and messing up until I got it wrong. How could you mess up on that? Wait. But now, instead of me being happy in this picture, I have to make it mad because you trolls are driving me crazy. I just have to pull my hair out. It's just not fair. Why do you trolls have to do this? Why? Why do they remove you? No comment. And if you took me a favorite, there's this guy who said 14 or 15 year old people are calling him fat. Well, I feel the exact same way. I found out about him. His name is Norm. The video he's talking about, the Stop Calling Me Fat video by Norm's Barstool, that video has a ton of swearing. Like, every three seconds, he bursts the F-bomb out. That kid shouldn't be watching that because, as stated earlier, his mom will get upset because he saw swearing on the internet. No, these trolls, I agree with you, 14, 15 year old trolls, they have nothing better to do. I, I agree with you, I gave the video 5 stars and I favorited it. You go man, you rock. And, and I don't think you're fat either. Okay, no offense to anyone who overweight, but clearly Norm is kind of fat. I'm sorry, but it's pretty obvious, or he just has a glandular problem. But 
I'm sorry to anyone if got if they got offended by that. And and I even have some friends that kids would call fat, but I don't call them fat. Sure you don't. I don't think you're fat at all. For, for all those trolls, you could have a glandular problem. I think that's what it's called. You think? Something like that. But, but anyway, yeah, I totally agree with you, Norm. And I hope you can get the trolls off you. And I hope the same thing goes for me. I hope I can get these trolls off me. Because... The trolls won't leave until you do. There's something going on for months now. And it's going to send trolls off and over. They have nothing better to do. And they have 14, 15 year olds, like you said, man. Some of them, some of them are kids too, I think. And they, and they're cursing and stuff, saying bad words. If you couldn't understand what he was saying, he was talking about uh, kids a little older than him trolling him and swearing. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't say, I'm surprised their mommies didn't crown them. No, I know you said bad words in the video, but I don't blame you. Sometimes I feel like saying bad words. But my mom would ground me for a year. Jeez, what a mom. Ground you for a year. Wow. I gotta go. My mom's coming to see what I'm doing. Bye. So overall, this video is just Coolio the Hedgehog complaining about all the trolls and just talking about a bunch of nonsense that doesn't even matter. Today, we're going to be commentating on his Halo review. This is a co-op review with... Da -da -da -da, if you couldn't guess by this point, you're probably stupid. Me. This is has to be the, one of the worst videos we've made together. I mean, it was so bad, I laughed at the end. I couldn't believe we made a video that bad. We're also going to... For the next day, we're going to make another game review. This was meant, these reviews were meant to be an uh, official thing we're going to do, but we only stopped, we made three reviews and only uploaded two. If you want to know what the third, the uh, missing one was, it was from Russia with Love on the Xbox. All of the videos of the game reviews were on Xbox. So, yeah, let's get this commentary started. You can start me. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Luca and Kevin66. Two things. One, my ears hurt. And two, why are you just filming the screen? That is not proper work. I understand you don't have any t a dazzle or something, but you could at least get one of the cheaper versions of a dazzle. Doing our second game review on Halo. You can see in the background, Bungie. Just for my amusement, I'm gonna try and recreate when I yelled Bungie. Bungie. Yeah, that's a company. Yep, probably. So now we're doing Halo. A, 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 a very good, very good game, very popular in 2001. And most of everybody has this game. First, it's called a script. Use it. Two, not everyone has Halo. And three, that's an opinion. Halo is not a great game to everyone. I enjoy Halo, but I like Call of Duty as a better first person shooter. This is very cool. My brother has this game he for Xbox 360. He has Halo 3. Looking back at this, I don't care if my older brother has Halo 3. Well, today we're playing Halo Combat Evolved for the regular Xbox. Let's talk about what's multiplayer today. Actually, um, I don't, let's just start with campaign. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do my profile. Okay, dude, that's cool. Oh yeah, we can also do that, that's okay. I'll... I okay. If somebody could please write comments on um this with this video, because I'm kind of need help on this level. Whoa! You're pl you're reviewing a game when you haven't finished the entire game. You know how I know that? I would two things. I was there, and second, he said, um, yeah, I, I need some help on this level, implying he hasn't beaten that level yet. Right now, I'm just going to show you some of the cool stuff about this game. You get to choose the um, level of your of each level you play, just like in James Wong from Russia with Love. That comparison was unnecessary. <laughs> the thing I don't like is um you can't walk on, but yeah, but it's still a good game. 
Um, I never played this game before. So Whoa! Okay, you are reviewing a game you have never played. You probably only watched your friend here play the game, and you're reviewing it. Jeez! Sorry if you got a little loud there. I had to do that. For once, but that was a different kind of Halo game. It was Halo 3. I think so, yeah. For Xbox 360. Basically the same controls on the Xbox 360. Alright, we just got out of the way. And now you do- Now this Halo is, um, one of those close-up shoot, um, kind of gun games. Alright, this, right- it's one of those eye point of view. Oh, it's called a first person shooter. Oh, sorry. I just killed myself on accident. Sure, it was an accident. Ha! No. Okay, I right guess. now I'm in the second level called Halo. The level called Halo. This is more like a really bad gameplay commentary than a review. And, um, right now I have to cross this light bridge that I just made by pulling a switch and also in the second level you get ATV it's called a warthog do your research and it's awesome Alpha of Fury no it's just a AT it's an ATV oh. and you can drive it around oh I thought you were talking about a game no this is a real ATV that you get to drive okay um it's called the warthog you only can get it in the second level really well, I have one complaint about the game. It's a close-up shoot game. I don't really like those games. I'm okay at close-ups. Because it's really confusing. Yet again, it's called a first-person shooter. And if it's so hard to play in first-person, then just don't play it at all. And people who have this game, who's stuck on this level, don't go across the white bridge if you haven't made it with this, or else you'll just die. Yeah. Well, I never played the game. All right, now once you've gotten through all those a that alien mayhem, you want to go up here. This is also more like a really bad walkthrough. When it well, here's a tip: whenever it says something like checkpoint done or loading, that probably means that you completed your objective. I didn't know. Oh, uh, I give this game graphics a B a four star. Because, um, well, they're good, but not good enough. That's because it was on the Xbox. You gotta rate the graphics by when it came out. When it came out, it was amazing. Everyone was like, oh, these graphics are awesome. You're comparing them to today's graphics. That's because this is like the first Halo, so it's not... It's not that it's, good, but... It's, it's not as good as the other one. And they just came out with a new Halo called Halo 3 ODST. It's like, um... No one really cares if you guys talk about the newest Halo game out. Uh, continuous. It continues with Halo 3, kind of. But I never played it, but I've heard a lot of cool stuff about it. Well, alright, so. Now I gotta go save survivors that there were from the big crash. And just write any comments about this. And just, yeah. But don't write mean comments, because... Comment about what? Because I really dislike them. Exactly, everyone dislikes them, except for, like, you like them, just two. Okay, so, um... Tim Coach, what do you think of the, um, gameplay? I meant controls. Controls are pretty easy. So would you give it a four and a half stars? Uh, maybe four and three quarters. Usually when people are rating by stars, they usually say four or four and a half. Not four and three quarters! Yeah, four and three quarters is stars. So, there'll be an, you know, you know how there's usually a base with all your teammates? That's where you want to go again once you've gone through the alien base thing. And, yeah, so you want to keep going up here. Yeah, again, you're doing a video game review, not a walkthrough. Talk about some stuff you like and don't like in the game instead of just randomly giving out some scores about the controls, graphics, and stuff. Oh, um, sorry, it came out. Okay. The thing I don't like with this ATV is that if you crash with your own teammate in it, oh, sorry, um, you, they'll probably die. 
Well, of course your teammate's gonna die. He flips over in a roofless vehicle, and he lands on the top, and he pr probably crack his skull. But, but you won't. Sometimes they fight. Just be really careful when you have another teammate in this, because they can die easily. Well, okay, this is where you want to be. There's a bunch of aliens here, so be careful. Hey, Tim Coarch, what do you think of the gameplay? Gameplay is pretty fun. Fun shooter game. Well, I would give it maybe a five. It's a little. It's kind of. It's a little difficult because you gotta. You really gotta use your brain in some part. Well, of course you're gonna need to use your brain for this game. That's what makes most games fun. <laughs> All right, and and the final grade will be just a regular old B. Good for you. Cause yeah, just a regular old B. Yeah. Um, it's not because we don't really like the game. It's and also you can throw grenades. Like well, that. yeah, that's that's cool, but it's still worth a B. Yeah. The thing I don't like is the kind of the point of view. Exactly. And that's one of them. and um, how like there's some small areas that you have to squeeze through. And songs, and you have to really think on it sometimes. Oh, sorry guys, I was just sleeping. This bored me. I'm not sure about all the other people who have Halo, but for me it's a little difficult. Yeah, so, right now you have to find survivors. So the rest of it is us just talking about, oh, you can do this, or you can do that. And you have to do this, and you have to do that. So I'm going to skip where we say goodbye and the outro and stuff. Mm, yep. Well, I'm one of the 6 and Tim Coach of being Halo. Um, so we do this, our final result is a B. You told us this, but you probably just want to remind the people who just woke up from this review. Just a regular old B. Actually, I kind of give it a B and a half. Wait till they're done talking about the grade. I'll say what I gotta say. Yeah. Like, B minus and plus together. No, B... Just a B part B plus. B and a half. Yeah. We give it, like, B and a half for it. Warning! Turn down the volume. I'm gonna scream a lot. K! First of all, it's called B minus, not B and a half. That does not make any sense whatsoever. Now that my screaming bit is over, let's just finish this commentary. Taylor, I kind of like. So, we'll see you guys next time with another review. Um, wait, well, just watch. Everybody watch. And then, wait, here's a bonus thing we're going to do for you. Woohoo! <laughs> jumps off a cliff to nowhere. And then he falls out pretty much. And dies. Well, that's it. That was our bonus. And the video pretty much just ends right there. And a quick note, um, at the end when he said when they show the bonus clip, I say, and he looks on the cliff. His name's Master Chief. Uh, today I'm doing a commentary on this girl who has a video named "All Justin Bieber Haters Suck." I'll put a link in the description below. And um, the user's name is kind. Of, well, you'll get it after this video. Bieber Lover One Two Three Four. Well, good for her. Let's start this commentary. Everybody who hates Justin Bieber, stop. Just because you tell the haters to stop doesn't mean they will. Lay off because he, he is so amazing. That's an opinion, not a fact. And he doesn't care if you hate him. Because he is just so above that. The reason why it doesn't ma matter to him is because he's a big celebrity who ignores all of the hate, which he should be doing, because if he takes in the hate, he's going to start writing songs, they hate me. So, yeah. Okay, and he's not gay at all. Well, we kind of know that because he has a billion girlfriends, and the, why people, the reason why people are calling him gay is because they're just being really mean. Well, good for you. By the way, your camera's out of sync. And he has such amazing hair. 
That is an opinion. Personally, I think it's a mop head. Well, good for you. Script. He has such good music. And he's like That's an opinion. So successful at such a young age. I mean, imagine when he's 20, he's only 16 right now. He just Okay, wait. I highly doubt Justin Bieber is going to make it all the way to his 20s. Because there's a lot of bands who fail in their careers like the Jonas Brothers or the Naked Brothers band. But that's not very good examples. But they are, like, gone. I have never heard of the Naked Brothers band ever since. Jonas Brothers are, like, just barely just going. But I don't really care for them. So let's continue. No one cares for his birthday except girls like you. Or guys, if that's possible. I'm not going to repeat myself, but you know what I'm going to say. If he's so successful now, imagine him. Yeah, seriously, in four years. He'll be crazy successful, and he'll still be so young. If you're 20, you're pretty young, but you're not that young. Okay, this is where she gets really stupid. Just, just, just watch. Okay, I know a lot of girls in my grade and maybe some others in other grades that hate Justin Bieber, like me. And that's it. And they're not attention whores. They're not lesbians. They're not fat, and they're not ugly. None of them are. So, yeah, look it up. Because it's just, uh, it's annoying. How could you hate him? He's so amazing. That's an opinion. Also, um, my friend used to hate him. Okay, this is pretty stupid what she's about to say. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Probably making this up. Because I don't think anyone just wakes up and thinks, OMG, Justin Bieber's like, Tot Oz. Like, no, she's obsessed. Like, all of us. Like, she's obsessed with Justin all, Every single girl is not obsessed with Justin Bieber. If you're normal, you can like anyone you like. Now get that through your head. Okay, she's gonna start playing "Baby," and I don't think anyone here wants to hear that. So let's uh, start skipping. Okay, she she just said that if Justin Bieber were her boyfriend, she would never break up with him. I know. <laughs> Mr. Rush is here, but yeah, he has to be quiet. Sorry about that. I wish he would make me one less lonely girl. Ha ha ha. It's so funny. Oh my god, I need a doctor. Ha ha. We stated this before, he's a major celebrity and he's doing a good thing by ignoring all the hate. Oh, there's really no point. He states it in his song. Like, he literally says, Oh, he states what in his song? Bigger. Bigger? Seriously? Ow! <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's, uh, just. Uh, I'm gonna skip through this. Okay, just because you love Justin Bieber doesn't make you any bigger than the people who hate him. I love the Beatles. I hate the Ju I hate Justin Bieber. Does that make you bigger than me? No, not at all. 
We stated this before! Good for you! Not in the right places. Look, there's her dead kid in the background. Yeah, Mr. Rush is sort of commentating, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay, this is where she acts like Justin Bieber's a puppy. Uh, because we don't look at what is he a puppy or something? Why is there a dead angel in the background? I don't know. Why is he holding a red ball? What is he? What is he nine playing kickball with his homies? Yes. Look at that. He's not a puppy. I wouldn't be surprised if one day. Somebody looked in your closet and they found Justin Bieber tied up. Or either a shrine of him. I seriously. Look at him! Look at him! He is not a puppy! Okay, he has a ball. We get it. <laughs> you need to cut your hair. Stupid. Oh, are you gonna say something or just stay or stand there? Look at that. We get it. He's a puppy. And he has balls. Just kidding. He doesn't. You're not Justin Bieber. You, okay. She's not Justin Bieber, so how is she, she supposed to hear it? She's like, huh? Gotta look at all the comments on baby. Huh? Okay, okay. So overall, this video is horrible. She thinks that Justin Bieber's amazing is a fact. It's an opinion, and we don't care if you what you have to say, because people are going to keep hating this so. Today we're doing a... My, our first tool commentary, because neither of us has done a deer commentary before. Neither have I. That's what I just said. No, you didn't! Uh, I kinda did. Nope. Okay, thank you. Today we'll be commentating on this person. Like, this is the three worst games I've ever played. This, I think personally, he, if you know that they look bad, why did you buy them in the first place? Exactly. But anyway, this person does not give out any legitimate points. He's like, okay, this sucks. Yeah, because it sucks. Yeah. Because it's named the Independence Day. Well, I'm really a fan of Don't, that. Don't get it! Hey, spoilers. Um, well, the video, well, I should, this is kind of a side note, but in the video, she, or he, I can't tell who, what, if it's a boy or girl. I think it's a it. I think it's a it. Okay. Puts pictures of the game. So I got those pictures out, so it's sort of in a video format, technically. So let's get this commentary started! Finally! Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you the three worst games I've played. In number three, uh, the game SpongeBob Legend of the Lost Spatula. Now, I love SpongeBob. Good for you! But, this is probably the worst Spongebob game ever. Ever! Please elaborate on why this is the worst Spongebob game EVER! I like how you said ever instead of just ever. It like, makes things interesting. Like, and stuff. It, it, the controls are bad, Spongebob jumps way too high, and it's just bad. Well, are the graphics bad? Are they are the controls stiff? Are they slippery? What? We want you to elaborate more. All you're saying is he jumps too high, the controls are bad, and uh, yeah, it's kind of bad. And stuff. Yes, and stuff. That's pretty much all you're saying. Really bad. Um, well, if you're thinking of game, a SpongeBob game, 
do not get SpongeBob when JJ Legend of the Lost Spatula. Well, this is more of an opinion than a fact. Maybe some people actually played this game and liked it. And how do you, like, why are you telling, oh, I don't get this game, it sucks. You didn't give out any legitimate points or gameplay to seduce people into not buying the game. I played it at a gaming convention. He's right, he does jump too high, but it's still fun, hater. <laughs> don't get it. In number two, Independence Day. Oh my gosh, this game is bad. So bad. Please elaborate how it's so bad. Yay. Yeah, please elaborate on that. You All you say, like, okay, here it is. You say it's bad. It then, sucks. Exactly. And then you give out a couple flaws, and then you say it sucks. Don't buy it. This is what, that's kind of the whole thing you say in each of these so Stop far. Stop wasting our time making this commentary. I'm sorry, we have to. Shut up already. If you've seen the APJM episode, then you know what I'm talking about. It is bad. Like, like, in the first level. Like, this, like, that game makes this sucks. You really like, got, yeah, you got really have to script this. You're like, okay, uh, um, thank you. This game sucks because. It just sucks. You really need to script your videos. Why are we still doing this? Why are we doing this? Help us. We're trapped in commentary world. Okay, let's continue. Um, we have to uh, destroy these uh, generators, and uh, usually you can't like destroy them. Like you can't be like um flying straight at them and shooting at them and like before you pass them be able to just destroy them. No. You don't wind up passing by them. But then you can think you can just turn around. But no, it just disappears. Oh dude, wake up. We just fell asleep during the commentary. It's boring. I yeah. don't understand. Sure, it's boring enough. Just please just stop talking about all this boring stuff that no one cares about. We want to hear your opinions on the games. That what <gasps> you have to do. Did you say something about video games that suck? That's all this guy's talking about. Exactly. Um. And yeah, it's just bad. I mean, nothing appears until it's right up in your face. Prove it. So yeah. Next game is um. Uh, in number one. Now probably not lots of you haven't heard this, but just it is Disney's dinosaurs for the Game Boy. Oh my gosh. I, I right when I played it, it was bad. It was bad, like really bad. I wonder how many times we've said elaborate. I think this was like three, four times. Yeah. You know what we should have done? Get a life, hobo. You know what we should have done? Have a counter for every time it said like. Yeah. And while you're wasting your time listening to this commentary, to be out living your life. Yes, live your life. Live your dreams. And play Mario and eat pie. No. I'm just kidding. Okay. Hey, dude. You were so bad that... Excuse us, we're taking a cup of noodles break. So live a life. Go eat some cup of noodles or something. Alright. After the first level, I usually shut the game off. It's that bad. Trust me, it's bad. How can we trust you? The graphics, um, well, the graphics don't really make a game, but if you have a bad game and the graphics are also bad, then that means the makes the game even worse. But yeah, and um, the graphics don't really make a game, but. Excuse me, the Pi 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 38 year. I'm
I'm still eating my cup of noodles. Came in 66, slurped his cup of noodles down, and now I'm just a loner sitting at the table. Here's Ken Man 66. Okay, then. I like how this person says that the graphics don't make a game, well, which is true. Unless the graphics are so bad, you can't see anything like... You finally like something, Ryan. LOL. Yes. That's probably the only good point in this video. Yeah. Um, yeah. In, in Disney's Dice Wolf with a Game Boy, um, I don't It basically, like, it, like, um... Use a script. Tell us how else is Joy Fun with Movie Dinosaur. Disney's Dinosaur. Um, if you've seen that movie. I have. Um... Hey, Pi 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 38! What? We're gonna skip over this! Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay, let's get. If you see the game, Disney's Dinosaur for the Game Boy, do not get it. I will. And the video cuts off right there. So, what do you have to say about this uh, Pi 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 38? I have to say, judging by first impression, it sucks. Yes, the video is not smart. This person uses terrible grammar. Just me, Johnny. Chris Bo video speaking. My ears have something to say. Ow! He has a fan defense about to Blackbuster's response to Barney. I have a feeling this is going to be a long commentary. Barney the dinosaur is so special right here on the Earth. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling us that Barney's real only lives on Earth. Good luck convincing people of that. And I even liked him when I was a little kid. Yeah, a lot of people like Barney's little kid. But not when they're 25. And I even like to dance, sing along, and read books, and many more. Really? Dance and sing along to Barney? Wow. But why do you think Barney haters don't like Barney? For okay, you're asking why Barney haters hate Barney. Well, that's because that it's a preschool show, and they moved on from that when they were like five or four. For some reason, like, they sing the I Hate You song and killing Barney. I don't even like that. Of course you don't. At all. Children still are Barney from this point on today, and they still do. In fact, I even have this Barney doll that I got for Christmas. The Backyard Game Doll. I swear, I heard him say Backyard Gay Doll. The first half of Barney Doll produce. Yes, everyone, this is one of those long, awkward pause videos. I don't get to see the series very often. Like the ones from seasons 10 to 13 and all that, because I didn't get the chance to work at them yet. But I do see one episode that I really liked was... That we kill a dragon from season 12. Well, good for you. The part with Whip chasing the dragon away was so funny. You really think that's funny? Well, check out Simpsons, Family Guy, Father of the Concords, South Park, Stranger with the Candy, etc. Really funny shows out there. Better than Barney, but you'll never see that. And I could have stopped laughing when I saw it on TV. But there was one other thing about the Barney and Friends. What do you think about Barney? Well, since you ask, I hate him. Does you think about his voice? Which is annoying. His talent? Which he has none of. His sing along? Let's just say this. I'd rather listen to every single Justin Bieber song on a loop for 10 days straight. Dancing? His dancing is just him hopping around and walking. Or other? What other? Just put a comment on my comment box and I'll explain the rest of it later. So if someone types in a question on the video, you're going to answer their question in the same video. That makes no sense. And...
I do happen to say this, but I do have one other question. And this is to Black Buster. It's Black Buster, not Brack Brusta. Why do you think kids still like Bonnie from this point on today? This sort of relates to what Cyberwolf087 said in his commentary, but it's because that kids have no sense of entertainment. They just, they're just kids. Um. Let me see. Um, Bonnie's so special because he loves everyone, including all of you. And I even really like Bonnie as well. I thought you said that. But so Bonnie here said that we hate Bonnie and we like to kill him. But I don't like the sound of that at all. Of course you don't. And I don't even like when they say bad words about Bonnie. Like, um, Bonnie, you're a piece of crap. Bonnie, you're a damn piece of shoot. And I would tell the Bonnie hairs to get out of the way and run the damn freaking away. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's got to be the worst threat I've ever heard. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But I just making that up. And I even do have Bonnie stuff in Spanish and Hebrew. Can you even speak Spanish and Hebrew? Like musical castle, nomos, nomos, and red, yellow, and blue. And the Hebrew version of the treasure of Rainbow Beard the Pirate. But what do you think was wrong with Bonnie? Every time he asks this question, I'm not going to repeat myself. When his first movie came out, like Bonnie's Great Adventure. It was a success for the movie theater. Yeah, great success for the theaters when a bunch of five-year-olds dragged their mommies and daddies into the theater and forced them to buy tickets for a sorry excuse for a movie. And I even really, really liked it. But why did he nominate Bonnie for two awards, awards like the Bonnie song, and Bonnie himself? Well, he's talking about a Razzie Award, which Bonnie's Great Adventure got nominated for two of them. One for the worst leading actor, and one for the worst song. What do you think was wrong with that? Bonnie's not a worst dinosaur. That's an opinion. He's so special, and I even really like him even more! <sighs> and I only got a few more minutes left to go, but I'll catch you later, though. Just for a quick update about the Fanta Phase video for Black Buster's response. About Bonnie's Great Avenger. Didn't we go over this already? Bonnie's okay, though, for his first movie, Bonnie's Great Avenger, the movie. It was a great adventure. So first you say it was an okay movie, then you say it's a great movie. What's up with that? Like, when they chase the egg through all the way out throughout the movie. And, I really like the part when it has some incidents like... Like the plane crashing into a haystack. But luckily, the kids were all right though, and so did Barney. No. And Cody returned the egg where he had found it at the barn at his grandparents' house. Now, on to Bonnie concert stuff. Bonnie's first concert was in 1991 in Dallas, Texas. Who cares? You know what? I'm just going to fast forward all this because I don't think anyone with a brain wants to hear this guy talk about Barney concerts. Uh, 
Um, t Thomas the Tank Engine. What? Great, he's gonna be talking about Thomas the Tank Engine. Yippee. With all of his friends. I got to see the old seasons in the restore format. But, one other thing though. Why do Thomas fans hate Thomas the Tank Engine? Don't you mean, why do Thomas haters hate Thomas? Well, that's the same reason for Barney. It's a preschool show, and they grew out of that when they were five. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. One second. Why do Thomas haters hate Thomas more than Barney? Thomas was changed from a TV series model into a CGI computer program? Or, or is it because of his voice? Or is it... Just, um, let me see, of his feet to whatever it is. I'm not going to repeat myself, but what do you think? Put a comment on my video, right beside here, and I'll explain it to you later on. Now, for Sonic fans. Now we're going to talk about Sonic. Thank God the video's almost over. My brother really liked Sonic for a very long time. He played the Sonic games like Super Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers isn't a Sonic game. It's a Nintendo game with Nintendo characters with Sonic as a playable character. The original Sonic games for the Sega Genesis. The Nintendo Wii. I've never heard of a Sonic game called the Nintendo Wii. Oh wait, that's because it doesn't exist. And many more. Gee, one other question though. Why do Sonic haters hate Sonic so much? Okay, so this is different from the Barney haters and the Thomas haters. It's because some people don't like how Sonic has changed over the years. So yeah, that's pretty much the reason. Is it because if it's speeding so fast, because he doesn't do very good, or is he doesn't do other stuff very well? Put a comment right here on my video, and I'll explain it to you all. Triple face palm! I'm sorry, I just had to. That's it for right now, from Jeremy Chris Ball, and a response to Black Buster's video challenge. Catch you later! Thank God, it's all over! Jeez, please comment like. I just had to put myself through this torture. I take requests, just saying.